it's Nell and welcome to my patio. It is March 23rd. It was time for a spring patio makeover. I live in Tucson, Arizona where we spent a lot of time outdoors. It's already warm and beautiful. So I want to share it with you along with all of my plants and how I arrange them on this patio. So what brought this makeover on was a new home. I moved into this house about a year and three months ago. The patio furniture just ended up here. Plants, I had two patios at my other home. Uh, so I have one now, so I had to consolidate a bit. Got some new furniture and rearrange things because new house, new look. I live in the Sonoran Desert, as you'll see. We'll show you some of the native landscaping around here soon. But I didn't want to go with the desert, you know, neutrals I'm not into, like the ivory and the really pale terracotta and the tans that you see on some Instagram accounts. It's, it's, it's great, but not for me. I like little touches of color, too. But the pots were different colors and different style so i actually um only bought four new pots everything else got painted so you'll see i just i just wanted to make things a little bit more cohesive but not the same and be sure and check out the blog post because the links to all these things will be in the blog post along with some other items i was i was i was considering but didn't end up buying uh, you know the chairs the pillows the cushions and uh, my favorite spray paint the link to that post will be down below at the top of the description box and also on our website joyousgarden.com and of course i'm going to start with the plants because this is a garden blog the elephant food i trimmed up because it was covering this beautiful talavera pot there's lots of places to buy talavera pottery here in Tucson and I just like how it ties in with, with the color of the table, the table that was blue. It's now <laughs> paprika, but this is my three-headed ponytail palm. It's still in this pot, but I have to, uh, it has to go into a bigger pot soon, but that's another story. A little succulent dish I made as part of the succulent series, and then I have some succulents over here. These pots I got at Target. It's a set, I don't think it's a set of two, I got two though. Yeah, and you'll see the other one over there. And then this plant stand I had out in the shed, uh, out in the potting room and I spray painted it black. So that's what's going on plant wise here. And this I brought, this uh, this plant I brought from, from Santa Barbara where I used to live. It was a very small six inch plant and now it's grown up into a beauty. This is obviously the dining area. This is a set, a patio set from the 40s that used to belong to my mother's friend. It's been many different colors. It was blue for like 13, 14 years, and now it is paprika. I just love, I just love this kind of desert spice stuff going on. I love this set now. And then these cushions are new, and they are called spice. So it just kind of goes with the theme. Here. I will also leave in the blog how many cans of spray paint it took to do this in case you're interested because because it takes more when you're doing like an open weave and everything while I was doing this all the plants got their worm compost composting for spring because that's how I like to feed my plants uh, the attempts are beautiful it's a barefoot kind of day here and you're probably wondering oh, what is this scrawny Hoya doing here well, this is my Hoya topiary. I'll leave um, a, a couple posts that show it in its heyday. It was gorgeous, tra trained up <laughs> trained up some hoops, but it got sunburned last June. It was over there while I was in Lake Tahoe. Um, and so now I have blinds that pull down here because the morning sun, this is a north facing patio, by the way. The morning sun at five o'clock a.m. is in tents here if you live in the Arizona desert you know what I'm talking about so I took a few cuttings and 
it's starting to grow again and then I will eventually be training it up these bigger hoops which are four foot hoops and I got these on Amazon and this pot was red and I painted it a brownish brownish it's got it's sort of like a the paint is a brown purple with a little orange in it so I don't know what how color you would call that and then my snake plant here this is um, this pot is part of a set from Walmart it was a little too peachy light so I painted it and I'm gonna show you a before and after picture right now and I have another stand over here because I have some succulents in that I just wanted a little height that is my one color pot this is the fall spring fall winter spring color is still in there yes geraniums are winter color here in uh, in, in southern Arizona I'll change that over to annual vinca in, in May but it's uh the geraniums were blooming and then they kind of stopped a little bit and now they're going to be exploding again so that's my one my one th thing with some flowers going on then I have a cactus pot on the ground there that has a variety and right over there I don't know if you can see that that is the euphorbia sticks on fire that I just put into that bigger pot so it is going to take off it should be a it should be like at least a foot well, probably but probably I'm probably about a foot taller by the end of the summer and this is my ginormous pencil cactus which I actually just half pruned it is taller but I brought this as a cutting from Santa Barbara also but I just wanted to point out that um, the sticks on fire is a variety of this plant some people think that the sticks on this is sticks on fire and it turns color this one stays that this euphorbia stays green whereas the sticks on fire is is the one that gets the orange pinky red color to it this is the seating or the conversation area and this um love seat i got when i first moved here i had new cushion covers made i think it was a year and a half ago by my neighbor a tailor it did, did a great job it's this umbrella fabric i bought online and then i just got these new pillows which have like a desert theme to them these i bought on amazon i was gonna buy them at target but they were sold out but, but now target has restocked them in case you like these because there are a lot of tropical themed you know pillows but i thought mm -hmm. I live in the desert so these I like and it also has a little bit of the orange too to pick up the orangey vibes and this these two tables also belong to my mother and they've been many colors this color is called uh, cinnamon so you know it's another spice <laughs> and this my real estate agent gave me it was one of the gifts she gave me has a jade in there the kitty cat and this is Talavera also and this um i spray painted the same color as the table just to tie in a little bit of the red over here have a funky light going on over here and a water jug that my neighbor in santa barbara gave me a mexican water jug and what it's doing is it's hiding the cord off of the lamp it's all kind of tangled up there and this is my baby my aonium that is now a shrub it was over where the Hoya was but it was just taking up so much room and that's why it feels like the patio has more space because I rearranged the plants and I put some of them up but um, this is is a much better spot for it over here and I brought it as one little cutting from Santa Barbara and it's like huge and it's darker now, but in the summer, in the heat, it turns mostly green. And I got a new chair set because I had a more like old fashioned wicker chairs um, and they had started to crack on the back because of the heat. They weren't wicker. It was that heavy plastic faux no, wicker. They were very comfortable, but they were cracking. But I love these chairs, got this set at target they're smaller they're very comfortable and what i really like about them is they're really easy to move 
So if I want to take them out to the Chaise Lounge area out by the pool, it's easy. So, and I got a new rug. The rug was blue. These rugs are made from recy recycled plastic bottles. And I love how they feel on bare feet because, and it's 100 degrees here. It's really nice. And, you, and these rugs feel great. Plus, you can just hose them off. And we get so much dirt around here that it's just a great choice. And then I have this cactus pot over here. It was over there, but the one that's trailing, I kept on knocking at it with my ankles, you know, when I was going out the pool or coming over here. So it got moved over there, but they're really starting to fill in too. And those are great because I don't have to water them that often and they are going to be blooming soon. So that's fun too. And this is another plastic pot. I love the plastic pots because you can easily move them around. I forget what color this was. I might've gotten it at Home Goods, but um, I decided to leave it bluish and a purple because I have blue in the Talavera over there. So it kind of ties in over there. And the aloe vera you're gonna see soon, you know, behind me is also in a blue pot. So there are some touches of bluish here too. And I have just a little bit of wall art, not too much. I have the lizard here and the frog over there, and they are also Talavera. So this is my aloe vera. It's actually part of the patio. It's over here. It has to be repotted soon too, but it's in this uh, another plastic painted pot. And it is coming into its bloom time. Here is a blossom. It bloomed a lot last year. You know, I don't know what's going to happen this year. I just see one so far, but we'll take any flower we can get. And then there are the hanging pots. This one was purple. That one was yellow. That one was red because they were in different areas in my other patio and garden space. So I painted them all the same color-ish and I trimmed up the succulent vines because come the heat, they really start to dry out a bit, bit, so I prefer to keep them on the shorter side. And this is a hummingbird feeder. It's so cute, the hum hummingbirds adore it. And I will leave a link to that, of course, as many other things here. And now I'm gonna show you how those blinds work. I didn't get anything custom or, or anything fancy because I only need them for like four months out of the year. So I'm gonna show you how they work and the color is very close to the color of the house, which is just a stroke of luck. They come down to here, and then I have some thin bungee cords uh, that are just attached, that stay attached over there, and I just do it there. And then in, by 9.30, the sun is usually off them, and I can raise these up, but these really help all, all the plants, and also uh, helps to keep the kitchen, and the kitchen's right there. It helps to keep it a little cooler. And I'm just going to talk about the two terracotta decorative objects out here. The star ball, um, I got it in Morgan Hill, California. I haven't been able to find any because I've had a lot of people ask me about that. I don't know if they're not made anymore, but love that. And then at the same place, it's called Garden Accents. I got that. That's a terracotta lantern. And I just like them for, for little accent pieces. And this, oh, I forgot. This I got at, on Amazon. And Tucson has a gem and mineral show every year and I get geodes and odds and ends of uh, rock to put in my plants too. So in case you've seen some, that's where they came from. So I have done blog posts and videos on the care and repotting of a lot of the plants you see here. So I'll be sure and leave that in the blog post for you, along with the links to everything new or old that I purchased here. So spring is here and maybe you are thinking of doing a patio redo or a patio refresh also. So I hope this gave you some ideas. And as always, I thank you for your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. Now let's get out in our gardens, out on our patios and make our worlds a more beautiful place. I look forward to seeing you soon and thanks for watching.